All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have an I do problem. All right, let's start by reading. Donald has four marbles in a bag, one red, one blue, one yellow, and one green. He draws one marble from the bag, and without replacing it, he draws another marble. Which of the following represents all the possible outcomes of this experiment? A, red, yellow, red, blue, red, green, blue, red, blue, yellow, blue, green, green, red, green, yellow, green, blue, yellow, red, yellow, blue, yellow, green. B, red, blue, red, green, blue, red, blue, green, green, red, green, blue, red, yellow, blue, yellow, green, yellow. C, first draw red, second draw blue, then red, green, blue, red, blue, green, green, red, green, blue, yellow, red, yellow, green, yellow, blue, or D, red, yellow, blue, green. So we read all of the uh, word problem, including the uh, answer options and the specific question. All right, now we're gonna underline the specific question. Which of the following represents all possible outcomes of this experiment? All right, cross off the U. Label and annotate. Okay, so there's four marbles in a bag. One's red, one's blue, one's yellow, and one is green. We'll box that. He draws one marble from the bag without replacing it. So, without replacing. All right. This means that when he draws the first time, it'll affect the second draw because there's only been the first time he has a four one out of four chance to pick a color. Then after you choose one marble, it's one out of three chance. Which of the following represents all the possible outcomes? So we're looking for all possible outcomes of this experiment. All right. So what I want to teach you all is about a truth table. Okay. So let's draw a truth table. All right. There we go. There, we, like this, and then like this. Okay, so we got red, blue, yellow, green, red, blue, yellow, green. Now, there's four marbles in each bowl. If he draws a red marble, Okay, see, this is a red. So then it would have to be blue, yellow, green. Because once you draw the red marble, you can't draw it again. So let's say this is for a red marble that is drawn. Now let's go to a blue marble. So you, you, can, draw, you can draw a red. You can't draw blue twice because you've already drawn it. All right, let's go to yellow. You can draw a red, you can draw a blue. Can't draw yellow again, but you can draw a green. Let's go to green. If you draw a green marble first, you can draw a red, a blue, then a yellow. So how many total outcomes are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So there are 12 outcomes possible. Okay, in total, there's 12 possible outcomes possible. So D only has four. C has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This has nine combinations. B, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But A has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve possible outcomes. The answer is A. This is our evaluation process using our truth table. We selected the correct and accurate answer. That's not accurate, not accurate, not accurate. The accurate response, ladies and gentlemen, is A. There you go, you can look at all the work. The correct answer is A. And we've also drawn a nice truth table. I hope this video helps. Thanks for watching.